My name is Giles Peterson, and uh, I'm here first time for me in Sierre, and um, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm looking forward to playing some records. Is it also your first time in Switzerland? No, no, I've been here many times before. Um, my mother lives in in Glan, which isn't very far from here, so I know the region quite well. And um, I used to come here a lot in uh, in the 90s. I used to do a lot of work for the Montreux Jazz Festival and um, on Couleur Trois and um, lots of clubs from Le Mat to the Dolce Vita in Lausanne. So um, this is a kind of comfortable place for me. Uh, is there a huge difference in the audience or uh, how do you feel a Swiss audience? Yeah, I mean, Switzerland is quite interesting because it changes a lot between the different parts of Switzerland. So, for example, playing in Zurich is pretty different to playing in Lausanne. But I find that because I'm on the radio, a lot of people know more or less the kind of music that I play. And so I always get a lot of um, you know, good feedback. So it's always really nice to come here. But never eat a fondue before you DJ. You know, that's not a clever idea. You have to eat light food. I think you you know that uh, Moby just made his new CD. Did you already have a listen to his new album? No, I don't really check Moby's records oh. unless unless I hear them, you know, without realizing it on the radio or something like that. Uh, which are your main influences when you uh, make music? Um, well, I suppose I, I'm into um, I'm into all different kinds of dance music. Um, Living in London, I, I get to hear a lot of new stuff coming through. At the moment, there's a lot of interesting music coming out of the breaks, dubstep type of scene. Um, but I listen to a lot of American music, a lot of house and techno, a lot of jazz, a lot of music from around the world. I just got back from Cuba, where I was making an album over there. So I was very much into the, the timba and uh, and the discarga and, and the, the Cuban sound. So I like to mix up lots of different rhythms and, and try and create something different and, and, and interesting. Here in the flyer they say that you are also a bit more on the jazz side. Is that true? Sure, yeah. I think anybody who's been in music a long time is going to be influenced by jazz because it was the teacher, really. So I like to direct people in that direction if I can. but. You know, jazz doesn't necessarily mean that it has to have a saxophone in it. It's more about an approach to music, and uh, that's where the jazz comes into what I do in my mix. So I don't think making the crowd dance is necessarily the first thing that you want to do, you know. It's all about trying to emotionally connect with people. Um, sometimes stopping people dancing can be as strong as making a lot of people dance, you know, because it's all about the dynamics. And, um, you know, anybody can go and, and buy the top 10 dance records and make people dance. So when I DJ, I try and switch it around a little bit and, and, and play about with different stuff so that you know you can create a different pattern because you know most DJs sound the same really so I try and make it sound a little bit different and if people follow me that's that's great. What is the message of your music? Each time when you make music what is your main message? My message is to direct people towards the, the sounds of Sun Ra and, um, and John Coltrane and um, if I can bring a few people that way then my job as an ambassador for the free speakers of the world of music has been done. So you are, you feel yourself uh, like an ambassador of music? Sure, you know, I, I don't make music really, I, 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 I communicate with music and I, I try and give people a, a bigger picture. 
you know, of what's out there. And uh, I try and surprise people and try and take them on a, on a different trip, really, you know, because as I said to you before, it's, it's very easy just to go around and, and play the hit parade. You know, I don't do that. And um, that's what I do, really. <laughs> I think that Switzerland has always been a very progressive country in a way. I think that cleanliness is an important part of, of, you know, of presentation and I like that. But I also think that in Switzerland people are very progressive and um, they're very um, liberal. Um, the youth is anyway, um, the experience that I've had. There's always been a lot of support for the arts and culture in this country. As you can see by this festival, you know, this doesn't happen in all the small towns in England or in America. So people here are prepared to try and push out stuff and, 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 and give people new sounds. So, you know, I'm very um, grateful for that. And um, I think it's a very important part of, of the culture here that it's, it's an open place. Switzerland's always been a, a country full of travelers, people who are very um, prepared to look for adventure. You know, they're real um, investigators, the Swiss. And so it's always a pleasure to be able to bring them a little bit of my sound. That's great. Uh, as a DJ, you must have quite a high emotional quotient to feel what the crowd needs, what they want. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, how do you estimate your emotional quotient? Well, I'm like any other human being. I think that you have days when your emotionals are quite low. There's days when they're very high, you know? I mean, I'm a quite... Um, sensitive guy I suppose so I like to um, to connect with my audience I suppose that makes me quite emotional I don't go there and just play what I played the night before I try and and feel off the people so um, you know music is um, music is the healing force of the universe and um, I'm a doctor oh, that's a nice message and uh, which medicine are you going to give to your patients tonight I don't know. I'll give him a little bit of uh, a little bit of organic Prozac, a little bit of Viagra, maybe, and um, maybe a few aspirins for the day after. Wow, that's great! Thanks a lot for the interview. And okay. Enjoy your party. Here. Thanks a lot. <laughs> that's great. All right. Nice.